Today we're underneath a 1965 uh, Ford Mustang. Uh, this is done in Wimbledon white with blue stripes on it. We're looking at the underside. We'll start at the rear, work our way forward here. Uh, first thing we have is the fuel tank in really good condition. It's painted black, the same as the other side of the car here, that chassis black paint. Um, really good condition, no dents, dings, scrapes, scratches, nothing like that on the fuel tank. You've got dual exhaust with tailpipes exiting the rear of the car. It's got these real nice chrome tailpipe extensions on it there. Uh, again, the, blues, uh, the tailpipes up over the rear end housing. This is the 8 inch Ford rear end. Uh, again, we've got leaf spring suspension up here at either side here on the rear. Um, you've got disc brakes too back here. This is a uh, four wheel disc brake car. It is power brakes also. Um, you also have the rear sway bar here. Now that we're in the middle of our car here, uh, we got dual Flowmaster mufflers back here. Again, dual exhaust all the way up through, complete with your crossover here right in the center. Um, all of your sheet metal in this car, all the floors, it's all original, all except for one small patch, and they did use the correct stamped metal for the floor pan here when they put that in. Seems to it up real nice, so it's a real nice job here. Um, as far as the rocker panels go, those are all good. Um, you see your pitch seam here, that's all in good condition on both sides. Um, what there is of a frame on these cars is in really good condition on this car as well. Um, you look up ahead here at the transmission. This is the automatic overdrive transmission. Uh, nice addition to this car, makes it a real nice touring car for somebody to get in and go. Um, you've got your uh, a nice transmission cross member here. It'll, help hold that tail shaft of that transmission up. Uh, and again, we're hooked up to a uh, 302 cubic inch Ford small block. And now finishing up under the front end of our 65 Mustang Coupe here. Uh, again, I did briefly say this was a 302 motor. This is a, uh, a more recent uh, 5.0 um, 302 motor here. So real nice addition to the car. Kind of like a, almost like a resto mod type car here. Uh, again, with that automatic overdrive transmission. Nice car to drive around in. Uh, another addition to this car that makes it really nice and driver friendly, we've got this Unisteer uh, rack and pinion power steering conversion kit on this car. Uh, steers like a dream. Um, you've got front sway bar also on this. Uh, again, with the Mustangs, you've got that front strut rod suspension. Um, all of your uh, ball joints, your control arms, um, all of your bushings here for your suspension. Everything is just in really excellent condition here, and you can see from, from being under here, a lot of this stuff is all new. Uh, new shocks also, both front and rear in the car. Also, again, like I mentioned on the back, we have the disc brakes up front, and again, that's all power, power brakes, power steering. Uh, you got kind of a modern 302 in there with that automatic overdrive transmission. Our 1965 Ford Mustang Coupe here now, uh, showing you the outside of the car. We're going to go ahead and start at the front here. Um, you've got very nice chrome bumpers, both front and rear. You'll see the back one when we get back there and talk about the trunk. Uh, on the front of this one as well, you have a GT grill. Now, this is not a GT, but it does have the front grill with the, the uh, driver's lights in there also. Um, you'll notice it does have the blue stripes um, on this car, along with that Wimbledon white paint. Now the blue stripes are vinyl though, so if you ever wanted to take them off, those could be peeled right off. Um, it does have Mastercraft MC440 tires, both front and rear, um, mounted on 15 inch wheels. Now these are aluminum wheels, they have the machined outer lip with the painted centers, the magnesium looking centers. Uh, and those are from US Mags. Again, 15 inch wheels with the Mastercraft tires. Um, as far as door gaps and elevations, trunk gaps and elevations and hood gaps and elevations, all of those are in really good condition on this car. Um, just really nice tight gaps, just looks really nice. 
You've got both driver's side and passenger side mirrors on this car. Um, now, neither one are remote uh, mirrors, but you can just reach outside and adjust those mirrors. Uh, everything's good and tight also. Uh, nice chrome trim moldings and bright work on the car as well. Um, when we look inside the car, you have all factory interior just as it would have been. Uh, it's black interior, black buckets. It's got the factory steering wheel, factory dash, all factory gauges with the exception of a column mount tack in this car. And it's got a retro sound uh, AM FM digital radio with aux hookups on there. So you could probably hook up like an iPhone or an iPod, something like that, so you could run your music through that. Um, again, that's pretty much it on the inside of the car, other than uh, it does have the front seat belts in it. And it also has a handbrake in there for your emergency brake. So everything's good in there. We'll shut that door. It closes nice and tight, nice and easy. Uh, again, you've got the same wheels and tires back here. Looking at the back of our 65 Mustang Coupe here, again, you're going to notice that chrome rear bumper, real nice condition there. It's got chrome exhaust tips down there also. Uh, again, that Wimbledon white with those blue stripes, those stripes again are vinyl the whole way up over the top of the car. We're going to go ahead and open that trunk up. Pops nice and easy. Inside the trunk here, you notice the underside of the trunk lid painted same color as the car, that Wimbledon white. Uh, all your trunk seals, those are in really good condition too. Real soft, these must be all new. Real soft, uh, no tears, no cracking. They seal up real nice, no signs of any leaking or anything. You've got a spare tire in here, along with your jack. Um, again, that's a... Uh, American uh, Spirit LX spare tire uh, and it is on a uh, it's a 14 inch rim but again it's one of those uh, kind of a space saver tire there for you uh, trunk bed in there and the floors in this car are in really good condition as well again like I said all the sheet metal in this car is all original um, and no problems whatsoever with it so we're gonna go ahead and close this now we'll work our way from the back to the front now down the passenger side of the car Again, just the overall body work, the door gaps, elevations, everything's really nice. Your chrome trim around all of your windows, the moldings around all of your doors and everything, all in good condition. Again, we've got the, those US Mags wheels down there with the Mastercraft MC440 tires. We're going to go ahead and open up the uh, passenger side here also. And again, as with on the driver's side, everything's in really nice condition. Your seals and weather stripping here. Real soft, no dry in this, no cracking, anything like that. It's got the little door rubber bump stops in there too. The uh, little U-seals in here, all in excellent condition. Door sill plates are very nice. Uh, again, you got the black bucket seats up front, all factory dash and gauges inside. Um, that's really about it on the inside. All of your trim around your windows is in good condition as well. We're going to go ahead and shut that shuts nice and easy again I mentioned on the other side we've got both driver and passenger side mirrors here again just all manual adjustable stuff there um, and again working our way to the front here the hood gaps and elevation is really nice um, you've got uh, you know the trim around the, uh, the windshield is in excellent condition as well you've got these little uh, side marker uh, light bezels here they have the 290 289 uh, on those, uh, however, the motor that's in the car is an 89 uh, 302 small block Ford there. So, a bit of an updated car, just real nice all-around driving, running car. All right, now we're going to show you underneath the hood of this. Um, we've got a, uh, it's kind of a more modern, like I said, an 89 Ford 302 motor in here. Good running motor. Um, you'll see uh, up on top here, they went with the, uh, the Cobra style thin aluminum air cleaner cover there, painted black with the, the machined aluminum there showing through. Um, you've got the uh, thin uh, cast aluminum wind valve covers on there as well as an aluminum intake on there too. Um, now that intake is also a wind, so you have 
matching intake and valve covers there to go go on top of that motor. Now it's got the headers also on there, so it's got those, and they're the long tube design, so they go back into full dual exhaust, uh, all the way back through dual Flowmaster mufflers and tailpipes out the back. Um, you've got an aluminum water pump there too. Um, you've got uh, pretty much like the stock style ignition on here um, with your distributor and your coil. Now this is a Pertronics though uh, distributor, so it's not your stock one, um, and that's a Pertronics flamethrower coil. Um, again, it's the stock style, just an updated uh, distributor and coil there for you. Again, stock style radiator there. You've got power brakes, power steering, and what they've done with this car, and again, we touched on this on the underside videos there. This has that Unisteer uh, rack and pinion power steering kit that they've updated this with. So, very nice driving and handling car, along with the power brakes, which are all four-wheel disc brakes as well.